Is Liggy AI worth your money? In today's review video, I'm gonna give you a quick demo, then show you pricing, as well as give you my honest opinion on Flicky AI. Flicky AI is a great tool if you wanna convert text to video. With that being said, once you're inside Flicky, what you can do is click on new file in the top right corner, then you can select whether you wanna do audio only or create audio and video. That's exactly what we're gonna to do today. Then you can simply give it a file name. I'm gonna call it Amsterdam because I've prepared this little script right here. Now, this kind of script is great for videos like this, things to do in Amsterdam, which as you can see, get 1.3 million views, close to a million views, another million views. These videos get quite a lot of views. So what I'm gonna do is click on create, then it's gonna go into the back end. So in terms of how fast Flicky AI is, it's a great tool, it's very fast. What you can do now is take your script, go to Flicky, and then paste it in here. What they're gonna do now is simply generate your video based on the script. So as you can see, our script is about Amsterdam having more canals than Venice, and some more information about Amsterdam. Now if I then go back to Flicky, as you can see, it's already done, and it has now generated a full video, as you can see, with all of these clips right here, and my script. Now what I can do is fully customize everything, which I'll now show you how to do. Starting off by changing the size. So as you can see, it is currently square format, but I would like to make YouTube videos. So I can simply click on video settings, go to size, click on portrait, and in this case, landscape, then scroll down, click save, and then as you can see, it is now in YouTube format so that I can upload a video and hopefully get views like this. What I can do next is change the scenes. So the first clip is about Amsterdam having more canals than Venice. What I can then do is two things. I can either click on auto pick video, which is a feature I really like because most other tools don't have this and it's automatically gonna select a video. As you can see, this is Amsterdam. We've got the metros right there. So this is a decent clip, but if, I, if you still don't like it, you can either just click once again or you can click on the video and you can then simply choose from the stock library, which is partnered with Storyblocks, which is something I really like, because if I simply go to Storyblocks real quick, what you'll see is that this is a great software that already usually costs about 30 bucks a month. I know that because I actually use this for my other faceless YouTube channels. So this right there has pretty much anything you'd need in terms of the clips. So if I search for Canals Amsterdam, just like that, I can then get all of these clips and then choose this one, for example, or this one, actually, that looks beautiful with the sunset. And then, as you can see, it inserts it automatically. So in terms of usability, is Flicky AI any good? Yes, it's fantastic. It's very, very, very easy to use, even if you've never made videos before. And everything is pretty straightforward. So that is how you can change the video. However, you can also use images or GIFs. Works exactly the same, simply search, just like that, and then you can choose an image, video, GIF, whatever it is. As you can see, these look beautiful. What they then also have, and this is one of my favorite features, is AI art. Now, this is something that they don't have on many other tools. So if you're looking for this specific feature, Flick AI is gonna be the one for you. I'll quickly demonstrate how it works. So create an image of the canals in Amsterdam. So this works like any other AI, simply give it a prompt, and as you can see, it is now generating the image, which may take up to 10 seconds. Once that is done, it's then gonna show you what it looks like, which as of right now, looks like this. That's not that great. Depending on the prompt, it can either be great right away, or you simply have to change your prompt or have it regenerated, just like with any other AI. And as you can see, this is now what I've made. Now, to be honest, that is pretty cool. So just this feature alone is fantastic if you're looking for something like this. You then click right there in order to insert it into the video, and you're then done. As you can see, you have just used AI to create the opening scene for the video, which, to be honest, looks pretty artistic. And that is how you would build out your entire video. So you would go scene by scene, simply click on the video, search for something that you would like to add as the clip, and then you can go on to the next one. So in terms of the usability there, they've made it extremely easy to do that. All you do is simply scroll down, click on the next scene, and then change the clip accordingly. 
Now, what if you want to upload something from your local files? Yes, you can do so as well. Go to my library, click choose file, then upload. As you can see, I've uploaded a few already. And by the way, this one was also generated by AI just to give you another idea of what it can generate. Looks pretty fantastic. So that's what you can do when it comes down to the visual aspect of things. Now, what can you do in terms of audio? They actually have a built-in voiceover tool, which is fantastic. So you can click right there on that name. And then depending on the plan you have, I myself, I've got the standard $28 a month plan. You can choose the voiceovers. So for example, if I just go with Matthew and then click apply this voice to all the sections and then click select, as you can see, they have now applied that voiceover to every single scene, reading out the text onto the video, which if I simply preview this for you, and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. That's what that looks like. Now you can see subtitles also appear. If you want to change the subtitles, you can go back to video settings, click right there on medium, for example, place it at the top in case you want to. I, I recommend doing bottom and then changing the font. You can then also choose what you want to display. So you can do word by word, phrase by phrase, the entire sequence or in full. I recommend just setting it at phrase. That's the best. And then also change the color. For example, if I want yellow subtitles, just like that with a subtle background color, just like that, click save is then going to adjust that, which if I simply scroll back, you can see that it is now indeed yellow with that black background, which is pretty cool. So that's exactly how you can change text. But getting back to the voiceover, you can choose any of these and you can choose them based on language. They've got all of the languages, as you can see right here, dialects, which is pretty cool. So you've got English, but then they speak English in many parts of the world, right? For example, in an Australian dialect, Canadian, South African, UK one, US one, you get the point. You can choose a male or female voiceover and the style, which is pretty cool. So just like that, you can then click select. It's going to add it to the video, which is fantastic. You're now done. So in terms of usability, once again, Flicky AI, I rate it. It's pretty cool. Then we've got a few more features that they've definitely not forgotten. So if you click on these three dots right there, you can move it down. So for example, if you want to mix around with the order of your text, you can simply go move up move down and you can do that with all the scenes as well as upload custom audio files. So if you want to do the voiceover yourself, you can upload this as well and then it will automatically sync it to the text up on the screen. Apart from that, as you can see, you can do everything here in this section. Now, let's say that you forgot the at a part. What you can do is simply click on that plus icon to insert another scene. Then you can type anything here. So type in here, add it, then click right here as well as then simply choose. So type, for example, choose the video, this one right there, and you've then inserted another scene. But let's say you didn't need that at the end, but right in the middle, once again, you would simply go move up and then do that again, up to the point where it fits right in. And then we're almost there in terms of the basic features. But what is important is that you can translate videos by clicking on more and then click on translate, which is pretty cool. So you can translate the entire video in just one click, select a language, for example, we can do, let's do Dutch because I speak Dutch right there. And as you can see, and then as you can see, it automatically translated all of this as well as applied a Dutch voiceover, which is pretty fantastic, which is one single click. What you can also do is use the pronunciation map to change the pronunciation of any word that you don't like. I'll now play the first few seconds of the video generated so that you can get an idea of what you can make with this. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial. And a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. Before we export the entire video, you can add background music by clicking on more, click choose file, and then choose from the stock library. Simply click on the one you would like to add. Turn down the volume quite a bit, up to like 9% roughly. Click save, and it's then added it into the background. Pretty fantastic, easy to use. We're now ready for exporting it. Simply click right there. And then once again, depending on the plan which you have, you can either export unlimited, for example, with the premium plan right there. With standard, you can still do plenty of videos, for example, up to 180 minutes. So that's three hours of actual video content in 1080p full HD with a video length of up to 15 minutes. There's no watermark and all that is included. Now there is a free trial. If you want to use Flicky, I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can also use a discount code Flicky AI 10 to get 10% off Flicky AI. 
which might come in useful if you want to use this. But I do definitely recommend going with the standard plan as the other ones. As you can see, they have watermarks and you're kind of limited in terms of what you can create. Now, if you think that was it, you're wrong because they have more features. What I like here is that you can add your team members as well. So for example, let's say you run a YouTube faceless business. This is perfect because you can add your team members and they can create the videos or any other business because you can add your team members and they can do the work. Click on create team, add organization name. You simply click on create. And then as you can see, I just added myself, click on add new member, and then you can invite your members by simply giving them the email. They can then accept that and then they're inside Flicky as well. Then they also have AI voice cloning. Now this is something that you might have seen before. What this does is that you can simply record your own voice as you can see for two minutes. And then after that, you can generate a voiceover with that exact same voice unlimited amount of times. It can basically use your voice and clone it. Now this is a feature that comes with the premium plan, which is right here. So if that's something that you would like, the premium plan is gonna be for you. This is for the people that actually wanna clone themselves so that you can do the work once and then after that you don't have to do the work again which to be honest is definitely worth my 88 bucks a month they also have an api now this is only useful if you're actually running some kind of like big business with like a lot of customers stuff like that so that they can use that in the back end so for most of you that won't be necessary but just in case they do actually have that. And by the way, if you pay for one year upfront, you can actually get 25% off, making it just 21 bucks a month. Which, to be honest, if you ask me, is a steal of a deal. Because the videos that you can make are solid, they've got an AI feature, they've got stock footage, they've got everything you need in order to generate videos, and you can easily convert this into square content or even portrait content so that you can use it for your reels, your TikToks, or anything else like that, which is fantastic. So in case you wanna start using Flicky, I'll leave my link in the description down below, which allows you to get 10% off with the code FLICKYAI10. If you have any questions about Flicky, let me know, and then I'll be more than happy to help you out.